Okay, guys. Uh, I equals a n v q, and where does this come from? And what is it? Okay, so I is uh, the current through a wire. A is the uh, cross-sectional area. Uh, n uh, n is the number of free electrons per meters cubed in the material. Uh, v is the average drift velocity. And then Q, well, that's the charge of one electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Okay, so where did this equation come from? Well, uh, let's think about our equation here. So this is something you'd seen at IGCSE. So I equals Q over T. Okay, so here's a wire and it's got a, a length uh, of L and our electrons are flowing through it and they've got a velocity of V. Okay, and then the wire has also got a cross-sectional area here, uh, A. So, okay, how can we work out, well, what's the total charge that can flow? Okay, so we've got Q here. Now we want to know is what's the total charge that can flow? Well, the volume of my wire, okay, would be the length times the cross-sectional area. And if I times my volume by the number of electrons that can th uh, flow in a meters cubed, this will tell me how many electrons can flow uh, in my wire. And then finally, if I times it by Q, that's the total charge that can flow in the wire. Okay, so that's the first part. So that's the, del the charge dealt with. Okay, the second part, well, our wire has got a length of L and our electrons have got a velocity V. So uh, velocity is equal to uh, the length uh, or the distance divided by the time taken. And we're going to rearrange this formula to make T the subject. So T equals L over V. And then if we substitute that into uh, here, okay, or here, where this is at the top, the, the charge that we just uh, talked about before. Okay, we end up with this. So I equals L A N Q over L over V. Well, the L's cancel and the L ends up going up here and we end up with I equals A N V Q. Okay, guys, hope that made sense. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now.